Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on radiology. Today we've officially hit number 30, so it's an impressive milestone for sure. Um, but we're going to keep continuing, keep hustling, bringing on more content for you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. This is always just a quick review in case you've ever forgotten, but uh, feel free to look at my previous videos if you want to get a more in-depth explanation for why these different gradients are what they are. But other than that, take a quick second. Alright, so if you've been keeping up with my content lately, you know I kind of moved into bone fractures and all that good stuff. And I kind of promised that I would go more deeply into bone disease and disorders, and that's what we're doing today. So we're going to be exploring osteoporosis. Now I want you guys to take a quick moment and just think to yourself if you've ever heard this term before, because chances are you probably have. Um, it is very common amongst the elderly patients. And I kind of include this diagram because it sums everything up pretty well. Essentially what happens is when a person gets older, the bone, like the dense bone material kind of shrinks in size and it weakens. And it's more of like a enhanced, so osteoporosis is more like an enhanced version of that. So it's a much more speedy version. And and this can kind of happen due to various reasons, like I just mentioned, age can be due to mineral deficiencies, it could be due to fractures, just a bunch of things that kind of reduce the bones like brittleness and make them more like susceptible to kind of breaking and not being able to bear as much weight. And that's kind of what happens. So it goes from being a compact bone to going to be more of a spongy bone, which essentially means it can't handle the same stress when somebody falls or just doing day-to-day -day tasks and it mainly found in people's spines in their legs and around the waist area and this and it's especially prone to all that because elderly patients can pretty much get easily bone fractures because of this condition as they're just weaker generally now, as far as treatment goes, there are specific medications that one can take to kind of help reduce the overall speed that their bone, dens bone density is degrading by, and also kind of help strengthen or build more compact bones by taking various supplements. So there's that. Other than that, though, it's more of a degenerative disease, meaning that as one typically gets older, they kind of experience this. So it's not very preventable right now, but... Hopefully in the future, more treatment models can come out and can kind of help the people who are suffering with this issue. All right. Thank you guys for this time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.